Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week, we follow Mark Ripley protecting lambs on the South Downs from foxes. Plus, we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. So this evening I'm off out uh, after foxes. I'm going to get out quite early before it gets dark and um, set myself up and see what comes along at dusk. There's been quite a few foxes about on this farm so I'm quite optimistic we'll get one or two. Well, I'm using a different product this evening. This is uh, a night vision scope from a company that's not all that well known um, in England. It's a company called Sightmark. Um, I've tested one of their day scopes in the past and was very impressed with it so I'm quite keen to see um, what they uh, what they can offer in the way of night vision scopes That really couldn't have worked any better. I've literally been here about five, ten minutes, had a quick scan around with a the thermal, and straight away the fox has come through the hedge, no more than about 90, 100 yards away, something like that. Come trotting out across in front of me, I'll give it a quick oi, just to stop it, stop broadside. I uh, shot it, first I thought I missed it because it didn't show any reaction to the shot, ran about 15, 20 yards, and then cartwheeled over, uh, and it's dead in the grass down there. So, um, it's a great start to the evening. It's a pretty quiet night tonight. Doesn't help because it's moonlit. It's still uh, fairly light. So uh, I think um, everything's out and about. You can see it's moving around in the fields. I'll give the caller a go in a minute. The Fox Pro out, see if we can pull something in. Here we go. Got one coming down the field here. Yeah, here we go, he's coming across. down and uh, have a look. It's 
proper sauce fox hat. A vixen too. Nice looking fox. Healthy looking little vixen that. That's good going. Two vixens down. Excellent. Alright, so it looks like we're finding more. Here we go, that's a fox coming through the hedge. Yeah, I can see him, he's just mooching around out there. Once he gets through that hedge, I'll take him the side of it if he comes, if he comes through and presents a shot. Get out from that. Good. Just in time as well. It's just starting to rain. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. In just a week's time, Wales will roll out changes to its general licences that have been labelled irresponsible by shooting organisations. Rooks and collared doves will be completely removed from the licences, and the general licence for conservation purposes will apply in far fewer cases. Even more changes could come into effect after a consultation next year. Basque Wales' Steve Griffiths said the new licences are a far cry from the previous set and have the potential for a wide range of unintended consequences. Basque has been on the campaign trail at the Lib Dem and Labour conferences. First, at a rural reception at the Lib Dem conference, Lord Mingus Campbell highlighted the importance of responsible shooting and said Basque was at the forefront of making it happen. Then, at the Labour conference, they heard from former Labour MP Martin Salter, who said angling and shooting are sports enjoyed by people of various backgrounds and we all need to work hard to build cross-party support for our sports. The Tory conference is taking place as this show goes out. There's been yet another international medal for Shona McIntosh. The Scot won gold at the European Championships in Bologna, equalling the world record in women's 300m prone along the way. She also won mixed team prone bronze alongside Ken Parr. After the win, she said, this result was a bit unexpected for me, but I'm very happy with the shoot. And finally, voting in the Great British Shooting Awards starts tomorrow. Now in their second year, the awards allow the shooting public to have their say in a wide range of categories, celebrating the products and people that make the shooting industry tick. The awards have grown and added new categories, including an award for the most innovative new product. To see the shortlists and cast your votes, head to the address on screen now. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. 
Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.